today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. And we are underway in Buffalo. Taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. Bringing this crew out is someone known for his big arm since he entered the league back in 2016, Jacoby Brissett. Team between starter and backup is needed and played well, but never had a team fully commit to him as their guy. He does retain the toolbox that made him projectable as a starter. Big, strong player with a powerful arm, deceptively mobile, and tough to tackle. The best part about his game leadership and being a great team. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Brissett. And this one is incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Now the throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Chubb with the first down carry as he'll get about three out of it. They get second and seven coming up. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 18. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Behind the chain, second and 13. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll get four on second down. It leaves him with third and still nine to go. You know, come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Brissett. And that will be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. York on now for the field goal. This will be a 34-yard attempt. York able to send this one through, and the Browns are out to a 3 nothing lead. Never ideal conditions in the snow for a kicker, but the first test on the opening drive, he passed it. He certainly did. You know what the unit told me was their biggest issue playing in the snow? You just worry about something getting in your eye as the ball is snapped. The Buffalo offense ready to bring out their high-powered attack. And at the center of it all, of course, the rocket arm man in his fifth year out of Wyoming, Josh Allen. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
Here's the throw out line complete to his running back right side. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the fourth-year running back. This is Devin Singletary. The linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, on the tackle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Allen. He's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Throwing his Allen on third. And that will be incomplete. Well, they were scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. to get started. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Brissett. And there is Mari Cooper, his first catch. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the a gain there of 21 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Brissett. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. And they'll give to Hunt here on the option. And he is going to be stopped, pulled behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the two. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. Second and nine, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First grab so far for Diggs. It's a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man. maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Takes it to about the 37. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Allen. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. Got trouble with it. He's throwing to double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing to too much double coverage. Might have a couple of them picked off. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's, that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense. Defenders have to react, and they often slip. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first.
first down. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On play action, Allen. In a double coverage and it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So that, a definite deflator there on the interception. Yeah, you work your way down the field thinking you're in position for a go-ahead score. But all it takes is one errant throw, and this one winds up a turnover. Flush to his right. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Got outside the pocket there, trying to improvise. And he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball, thinking that he was open. But I think the quarterback spotted him too late. And that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Allen off the play fake. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. It's complete to Diggs. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They pitch it out to Singletary. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's brought down. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it. But it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I. And he takes it in across the chalk. Touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bills have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned a little more power. They score. And that has to warm the hearts of a lot of old school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. And he will pull his way in there for the two points. Two-point try. Give it to the big boy. Let him go to work. That almost felt like Sandlot football that we used to play, didn't it? Biggest guy on your team who can carry the ball. Hand it to him and let him rumble. Nobody picked me on the Sandlot <laughs> football team. You were quarterback and I know better. I was the water boy. <laughs> Take it in at the three. And then take him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Browns drive about to get started. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well. They're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. His throw is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. 
sense. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And three yards there takes him to the fourth five. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this run. And this is too far behind his man. He missed it. It's incomplete. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. And the Bills getting set to go. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working. That means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run, vice versa. I would continue that. And when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Oh, that's into a double team. It's intercepted. Picked off by Grant. Take possession of the football. Two seconds to go, first quarter. First down, Brissett. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up. Well, what's going to be the final play of this first quarter? One quarter in the books, 8-3, our score. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, here's Brissett. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he is stopped just short of third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. York able to send this one through. And second field goal here gets him back within a couple and to six now. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're and how you continue to lead. The run got four, and now they deal with a second and six.
Last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper place. And now a minimal game there on the eighth play of the drive. You got to give credit where it's going to be. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. On third down, they go with single two. Take this down to the 25-yard line. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. Now five, 11 to six. So they're able to end that drive with three in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick. A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punt, you really don't want to do that. In this case, take the field goal and prepare for the rest of the game. The Browns drive about to get started. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better. where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely, no coach. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. The offense on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and 19. But these guys will see for Cooper. They'll get 17 back there, but it'll still Here's Corey Bajorquez now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. For the Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that. That's yeah, he does that. It's been the gold standard for a time. That's the 100-yard mark. It really has. And that never has to shift. Because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm 
wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games. I think we need to up that a little. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll take it ahead. 92 rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are going to do on third down? first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them there lost the football lost a lot of yardage but i think the good news outweighs it able to retain possession that was big for them and he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game and the big guys up front they're a huge reason why and now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Taken from just outside the 30. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. The Browns drive about to get started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And he'll take it across midfield and in the Buffalo territory. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Throwing. Brissett. He rifles one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And this might not be the last interception we see, Brandon. Both of these teams like to throw the football, but here in the snow, the ball's not going to always go where you want it to. And this one winds up getting intercepted. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. So after the INT, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here's Allen on first and 10. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Options galore here, second and a few inches. A give up the middle to Singletary. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They run here with Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, get it right back to him and let him cap things off. To the touchdown pass to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out. Their drive will begin at the 25. 
The Browns drive about to get started. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? But well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try to put some pressure on the defense. And he still has yet to get on back in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Percent sets to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. Here's Corey Borges now. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. On the handoff, it's Singletary. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. To throw on second and six, Allen. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll wind up a game 27 on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throw right side caught by Davis. And the Bills are going to have a first going up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. with Singletary, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play. Sets up second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is into the end zone for Buffalo touchdown. Randy Kelly with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They'll run with Hunt on second down. Gets around him, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Brissett to throw on first. And it's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And they get to him after a gain of six to 46. Now they got to get to the line quickly. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And he is going to have Brown's first down by about three yards or 
so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Again, it's Brissett. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw it, Brissett. Swings this out for Hunt. And he take it down, but not before they work this to 45. The Browns quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Another completion here to Hunt. They get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Give him four yards there, and that should be the final play of this first half. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this one will not be off to the left anyway. anything beyond 50 you start rolling the dice a bit and once you get up around 57 58 yards the chances of making it go down dramatically and sure enough this one winds up no good so time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room so we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports. Well, time is up the essence. We breeze through halftime and we are ready for the second half. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive of the third. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them too. So that last play gives them a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. On the give, this is Singletary. They'll rumble for about six. Across the 20 to the 22. The last run got six. Now second and four. They go right back to Singletary. And he's going to have to build his first down as they take this forward to the 27. They certainly have to give him more credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On the ground, it's Singletary. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That bring us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Allen going to get this one to Singletary. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 
field. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 142 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Play action. Now it's Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. John Johnson with the INT. And the Browns are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. Brought down by Ed Oliver. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And Chubble tried the middle here. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Early down steps will put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. all they could muster there and it'll bring up fourth down the Browns send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today and he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away now a fair catch taken maybe a yard or two shy of midfield it'll wind up just a 35 yard punt no return and this offense they're going to have excellent field position they take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field they will run with Singletary. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Right back to Singletary on second down. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. There, this is picked up by the Browns. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game like they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded just outside the goal line. He takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Well, let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. Looking for a bounce back. Had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good. And his pass is intercepted for are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. The first down throw for Brissett. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Throwing again on second down. Brissett, and he's going to be intercepted for the third down. Thus far, and the Bills are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Now this defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering the receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. They haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive. And they come up with a pick right there. To throw on second and six, Allen. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe.
can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Brissett. Second sack of the afternoon. The Browns send out their punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. This is fielded inside the five. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. And here come the Bills. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half. But the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well at the beginning of the game. But a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going. And you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he'll be taken down. They've got this one up to the 35-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On the counter, this is Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. From the 39, Allen. And Davis with it left side. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Here's Singletary, and a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run with their fullback. And he's going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. 212 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Right back to Singletary on second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Throwing now is Allen. Under pressure, and down he goes. And they're going to speed things up here. Now a run with Singletary. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. And they're going to get this up to midfield. 
Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and dragged across each zone. You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. On first and ten, Brissett. Dancing to his left. And that's going to be caught by Peoples Jones. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Brissett now. And that's caught by the tight end, Brian. And they call that play just a couple yards. Giant. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. On play action, Brissett. spot gets in there it's a loss of nine so they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points can they find the end zone here on second and goal they go up the middle with Chubb and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the nine yard line only a couple yards there and that's going to set up a long third and goal here's Brissett have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by York is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. offense now as they get set to take over here. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to 48. Well, tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Allen with a throw caught by Diggs. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he'll snag about five yards down in the 32. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The Bills on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This time it's third and three. A first carry for the rookie from Georgia. It's James Cook. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And it's Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He got up in the red zone, an excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Third down, it's run by Cook. And 
and snapped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out to get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting Sometimes you just miss your read key, right? Yeah, I think so. And sometimes they actually call back, thinking that maybe it will bypass the fullback going out to the, the tailback or the quarterback. In this case, they overwhelmed him and stopped him. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. And they were just well across the 40. Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Throw over set. Collectively, as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw here. To the left side, and complete for Amari Cooper. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they get it. On second down, Cook. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. And I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its face. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Subsequent gains of three, four, and now five yards. Good enough for the first down. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Hines, and he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 41, Allen. Over the middle, complete. That's Cook. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You don't cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz game. 
against Denver. They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there. And it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Brissett on first down. Throw left side there, Schwartz with it. They wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. Now we have a screen here. Give it a on the screen, but now it's turned down. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they use the first of their timeouts. down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get to reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. They'll throw again. And he's right down here just over prior to this upcoming second down play. This is Hunt. Able to send this one through, and that'll make this a game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back. Hopefully. Yeah. The question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it, or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? Good position. All three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Cook up the gut. They'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. To throw a talent. It's complete to Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that fall incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They run the counter with Cook. Now the Bills will burn their third and final timeout 
As the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Back to throw. Allen. Oh, no. He lost the football. And the offense will get this one. That could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills are to their lead. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Browns drive about to get started. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, so it was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, this is the National Football League. Started, it's Cade York, and we are underway from Ford Field. 
from his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Well, here come the Bills, and you don't have to look hard to find their fifth-year star QB, taking seventh overall back in 2018, Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. And the Brown pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. Now a throw here to his running back. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that brings up third and a full ten yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That's into a crowd. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Brissett. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. He'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Browns! Amari Cooper, 38 yards. And the Browns take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. That extra point by York is up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. ready and here we go as he sends this one away taking it about the one and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 so already not the best to kick returns there but that penalty that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line yeah not ideal field position to begin a drive is it because the extra pressure now goes on the offense they've got to get early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post what every offense wants to do in this situation two first downs to help out with field position at the least so first and ten now from the 30. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. A yard sort of opens the playbook now. Second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and move some things up. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. From midfield, here's Allen. He's got it complete, Stephon Diggs. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 40. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He finds his man, that's Sweeney. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and re 
establish the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Oh, a design run for their wideout. Down to about the 22 here. And it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we all can talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And the Bills are going to be set up first and goal on a pass. Moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll take it in the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Reggie Gilliam punching it in from a yard away. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. And they just powered it in right there, Charles. Three tight ends out on the field. The fullbacks of the defense, they knew what was coming. They knew, but they weren't able to stop them. They knew they had to meet them with a little bit of force. But on that play, the big guys up front won the day. And he'll get in. They take it 8 7 lead. Well, they got down 7 zip. They said, we'll go 2 1 up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk reward? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Brissett on third and two. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And it goes down. That's great. These types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. That's taken on the 25. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Working with second and five now. Brissette. and he finds Bell. And yeah, the Browns are going to have a first and goal. It's a tackle made at the 10-yard line. Brissett sets to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Brissett. 
set again. That's to the right side, complete to Najoku. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like. And he's in. Touchdown, Brown. Harrison Bryant taking it in from a yard out. And the Browns are able to move back in front. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes this a 50 day ball game. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And it goes down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net. One there. The Bills come to the line start their next drive. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, it's been a while since they've been out there going full speed, so they've got to get everyone back out there, run a couple of your go-to plays, make sure you get your offense oiled up a little bit. They've got to be able to start fast, but they've got to be efficient. and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Now the third running back taking Naples draft. This is James Cook. Great effort there. He's going to get this inside 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going. And they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a catch and maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, the playbook is open. And that falls to the ground. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Play action. It's Keenum. This will complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they could make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They only get a hard-fought yard, but that's all they needed. It pays off the decision to go for it first and goal. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Get in. 
touchdown. Reggie Gilliam with his second touchdown here in the first half. And the Bills have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. As the offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench up there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And he's going to have a Browns first down as he gets it up past the 35. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Brissett to throw on first. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now Brissett. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think a Brown was able to recover. And they'll indeed. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Throwing. Brissett looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Browns have yet again retaken the lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for the shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this and all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this. Oh, well, Keenum has it knocked away. It's loose. And this is picked up. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To throw is Brissett. Eluding the pressure right. Touchdown, Graham. And the Browns are able to strike quickly to add the Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball. The defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. A big play here for Buffalo. 31 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it, ran it. But how about the elements of going and making a big play? This 
this one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right up the money. And opening there on that first down run as he gets his forward for about eight or nine. And that looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Singletary again. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Keenum now on first down. Gets this one to Morris. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. A gain of three last play. This time they double it. Pick up six. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. On the big rush, and down it goes. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Another try after the first down. Kingdom. Good toss to Knox. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face the third and goal. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Reggie Gilliam on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead will shrink to six. So a play drive covering 80 yards. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as they're driving. The Browns drive about to get started. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. On second down, Brissette again. Being chased out left. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They made a nice effort sticking with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. That's complete. It's Bell. And he's going to be out up around the five-yard line. First down, they'll run with Chubb. And they went the wrong way there. Losing charge back at the 43 yard line. Two yards, no loss, second and 12. Brissette. He's got to jump to open the middle. And they're going to get this out. Thank you. 
and keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball down the field. And Devin Singletary heading back out there. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not to the fault of their running back. He's had a start to this one. You're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now they, if they can actually make something happen, points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see Charles if they can play complimentary football and get that pass. Now second and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 76 yards rushing now for Singletary, and he's got a first down. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need... Turn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now on second and 16, Keenum. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. So five yards here, five on the play. And they'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Throwing now is Keenum. And Diggs has it. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And he's tackled a yard short of the margin. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Play action. Now it's Keenum. For the right side here, complete. And they're going to move it down here to 25. And we have the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll run on first down with single Terry. Second down. And really, that was no surprise there. They've been running well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll run here with Singletary, and he'll get him in. 14-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they make to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. 
They fake the handoff. Now Keenum. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. With a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Now a play fake, and it's Keenum. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you got to key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And he takes it in across the chart for a Bills touchdown. And the Bills have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. There is a heck of a difference between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big-time score and a big-time swing in momentum. Well, guess who won the leverage battle on that snap? I'm going to go to the defensive line. Yeah, very good. Very astute <laughs> young man. Well played on that one. Yeah, they controlled the line of scrimmage. He had nowhere to go running it. Especially in the middle of those deep tackles. They've been looking strong. Low man wins, and they went big on that play. The Browns drive about to get started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide timeout taken perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry we'll see first down percent quick throw and he's got Amari Cooper and with just four seconds left in this first half a timeout call and now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two so with four seconds to go in the half here's the field goal unit the field and he has got it from 55 yards away that was never in doubt so we reach halftime in a wild first half we'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to orlando that's where we find our man jonathan Cope. a happy time for a lot of these fans we're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action Here's Bass now to send it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Browns drive about to get started. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways. But they had to like what they saw in that first half. Forced out to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage. And then slides to a halt. He'll end up getting five out of that. But now they're looking at third down. Set now. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now four down. The Browns send out their punter now. As he'll come on to kick this one away. The call for a fair catch. And it's made at the 23 yard. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. So here's the Bills' offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Off the right fake, Keenum. 
Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment find the football, and he's done so quite well. down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four to throw Brissett. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. Tyler Matakavich with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead and thus far it hasn't happened time's winding down they don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers york able to send this one through and that will add three more to their lead it pushes it up to six So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this a pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Bills going to take over again on offense. Well, this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, this game is out right now. It's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes will continue to pile up. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Taken down just shy of the field. 105 yards on the ground for him so far. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. And he's got Rome. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt. And he continues to circle well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work in the office, doesn't it?
result is six points. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that one puts them on top here in the third. off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Well, now how about this return? Had a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30, up to the 33. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense is not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're not too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now they'll here out of the gun. He's gotten a jump to his big tight end. He'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. The first down throw for Brissett. He'll get this to Bell. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from the defender is hard to stick with him for that long. Yeah, better against man zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they went the wrong way there. Back at the 43-yard line. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. From the shotgun, it's percent And a throw there going to be incomplete beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air. Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. It would have been a long field goal, but fake doesn't work out. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, that was a long attempt to begin with, so the fake you might have known was somewhat of a possibility. Credit to the defense, though. They weren't fooled. You're right, they weren't fooled. And they were in a position of having to play it both ways. Guard for the fake, but you still want to rush the kicker yeah, because it was a makeable kick. So they ended up getting the best out of the whole thing. Stumped the fake, and they take over the ball. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 140 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Off play action. Keenum. Going deep for Diggs. And that is caught. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it to the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Set on first down. That's complete bell over the middle. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. 
Here's percent. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Brissett. And almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get down at the 20. Base. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On play action, it's Keenum. Going deep for Diggs. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there. It will be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is going to be caught. They'll stay out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And he slips up past the five before being tackled. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Keenum. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. On third down, they go with Singletary. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of first down. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Bit of a pressure spot here for Tyler Bass. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by Bass is good. The Bills will add on to their lead. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive make it a two-score game, and we're able to get it done. The Browns drive about to get started. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. From the gun, here's Brissett. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And he's taken down, but able to cross the 35. That'll move the sticks for the Browns. Gate of 12. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Brissett. 
This is the tight end, the Joku. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting the field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Brissett sets to throw it. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Joku. Two plays, each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And this one will not be returnable. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. Singletary to get the drive started. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Second and six just inside the 30. They go right back to Singletary. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And I don't think he got there, no. Just short by maybe, maybe, call it fourth and inches. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he's going to have a Bills first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. And yes, everyone, that was the full carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yards. A give running right is Chubb. Down to the 42, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. Now it's right here. He's taken in by the tight end to Joku. His big game continues. Ten catches now, and another first down. They'll set up a throw. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And just a yard to go here on second down. Hand off up the middle. Hunt. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Drop this one down for Chubb, and he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down like we saw there magnified big picture. 
pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and serve as much as... He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Jordan Phillips. The defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five. After the sack on first down, Brissette got his man complete over the middle. That's Hunt. Touchdown, Browns! Hunt from 21 yards away. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again. Here, are the Here we go. The Browns will go for two. They'll look to throw. will remain a five-point game. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With a move the free, you think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. First down is Keenum. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And from the 25, they work to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. On the give, this is Singletary. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. You find that kind of yard? Guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator? I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. And they'll let their full try and push the pile. And he is going to have his first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. It's amazing how much advice defensive players get on third down. You hear the bench screaming out, watch the draw, watch the screen, watch the pass here. Very rarely did they reference watching the fullback, and he slipped through and picked up a first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now Keenum. Caught right side, Davis. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. On the ground, it's Singleton. Objective there. I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Keenum now to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there. And that one winds up incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and have them staring at a third and long. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. A timeout here defensively. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he's able to get the first down at the 36. Now the Brown signal for the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Throwing now, Keenum. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. They'll get it inside the 20, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Singletary. And he's able to get this. 
is inside the 10 down the 9. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as we'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Singletary again. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Ben. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And no effort to bring this out. It's a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. As this offense takes a field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition. But remember, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the line are going to take possession of the football. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. This is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll get down one thing. Offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them.